guys, it's May from My Curly Maze, and I'm going to show you how to get this look. First, you'll need a leave-in conditioner, then a hair gel of your choice, oil, I use Fatiga, water, and a hair clip. So you want to begin with freshly washed hair because this is when your hair is at its curliest state. And in order to keep it this way, you may want to grab your spray bottle and continuously spray your hair so it stays nice and wet. The other thing you need is a leave-in conditioner. And you can see that I use a generous amount of leave-in conditioner all over my hair. And I don't just put it on the top of my hair, that's not the idea. I separate my hair and I smooth it throughout the hair so it's nice and covered with conditioner throughout my hair. So separate and smooth. Oh yeah, and don't forget your ends. They easily dry out and split, so throw some conditioner on them as well. Now this is where your hair clips come into play. You can use one or more hair clips. You'll notice that I use three or four. And I'm beginning to put my hair into sections because it's just a whole lot easier to work with my hair that way. And also it makes sure that all the product is applied throughout my hair. So separate, clip, and grab your hair gel. I begin by using my hair gel and once again since my hair is already separated I'm just smoothing the gel from the roots all the way down to the tip and I love using Echo Styler gel because it really helps to define my hair yes it will dry crunchy at first a little bit hard but it's so easy to scrunch out the crunch after it dries and for some reason I always lose hairs so, yeah we'll just throw that away so we'll just keep on working through the hair in sections and applying whatever product of your choice. And once again, I'm using the gel that you know, it just holds and defines my hair so well and agrees with me. You can see that my hair is already defined and yeah, it's going to look a little jerry curlish, but <laughs> we'll take care of that. Grab your trusty hair dryer and I like to use mine on high heat and high speed. But warning, <laughs> most people tell you to use low heat and high speed, but I break the rules. And mine is actually a Turbo 1500. So with the skinny nozzle, I actually don't use a diffuser. For some reason, the concentration nozzle works really well with me because then I can point it exactly where I want the hair to blow onto my hair. So it, it works really well for me this way. And I actually don't get frizz. And I think one of the reasons why I don't have frizz is because of the gel. The gel is really holding it pretty hard. And so between the gel and high heat, high speed, it dries pretty quickly. And I know, once again, it's bad to probably put it on a high heat setting. But, you know, time's of the essence. <laughs> and actually, it's not damaging my hair so far. So, so far, so good. I'll stick with it. That being said, you don't have to use high heat on your hair. You know, that's totally optional. Do so listen to what your curly mane is telling you. If it's saying heat is making your hair fall out, then by all means, turn down the heat. <laughs> so it's up to you and your curly mane, what it's telling you. Low heat, then go ahead, turn down the heat and keep it at that setting. And you know what, you don't even have to use a hair dryer. You can't air dry your hair. It's just up to you. It's up to you and what your curly mane is telling you. If blow dryers are not the thing for you, then by all means, let it air dry. You'll still get the same results, except, at least for me, it takes all day for my hair to dry. And not only that, but inside of my hair, and the bottom layers and in the middle layers, it's always still wet. So. I just separate and I blow dry and it's really exhausting and hot. <laughs> so 
But by all means, do what works for you, whether it's air drying, blow drying, whatever it is, diffusing even. Just do what you can do to dry your hair. And just don't touch it at this point. That's the key thing. Don't touch it, don't play with it too much until it's dry. Right now it's about 85, 90% dry. And you can see that there's already definition. I'm just lacking length and some fullness. But no need to worry about that. We'll take care of that with my good friend, oil. Now you know that I like to use Batika oil, but I tend to also use it mixed with almond oil. Sometimes I even mix it with Jamaican black castor oil as well. And basically Batika is a combination of coconut oil and a lot of Indian oils that are really great for your hair. It coats it in terms of giving it nourishment giving it hydration, helping to seal in water into your hair, and it's very lightweight, so it's not keeping it oily or anything like that. Oh, yeah, I think I'm a spy. I'm gonna grab my trusty hair dryer again, put it back on high heat, high speed, or whatever setting you like, and proceed to blow dry my hair again. This time I want it completely dry. Now, the heat helps to warm up the oils into my hair, and you'll notice that it'll also break up the hardness of your gel. So this is now softening and defining and also sealing in moisture into your hair all at the same time. And you'll notice that I'm also stretching at the root and then blow drying my hair at the root. What this will do is help to elongate my hair. And so I'm just tugging ever so gently, or not so gently, it looks like. The whole idea is to combat shrinkage, to stop shrinkage in its tracks, and to get some body yaddy yaddy. And so I'm fluffing right now just to get my hair fuller and elongate it. And it's hot. It's really hot. So separate and fluff, separate and fluff. This will help to give your hair some fullness. You may be on the verge of melting at this point if you're using a lot of heat, but hang in there, you're almost done. Just grab some more oils and smooth it throughout your hair one more time. And this is once again to help break up the hardness of the gel to basically unseal the gel cast. So that's basically what you see when the, your hair is hardened by gel. It's just the cast that's forming. So you want to smooth the gel throughout it and fluff your hair. Get some, some of that gel on the ends. Separate and fluff. And you're pretty much just about done. At this point, all that you want to do is pretty much style your hair. Give it some tugs to help release the, the cast of the gel once again and separate your curls because some of them may clump together. I mean, if you like that look, that's up to you. Keep it that way, but I like to keep on tugging and I have a habit of tugging throughout the whole day, the first day, just because I like to break up all of the hardness of the gel. But you'll have tons of gel definition and also you'll have more length because you've done a lot of um, tugging while drying to help fight that shrinkage. So if shrinkage is your thing, that's fine, but if you're like me who's always seeking lengths, then that's just a trick that you can use. And that's pretty much it. Now that your hair is done, feel free to let your fingers flow in your fro. I hope that this has helped you with your curly mane. Till next time. Bye now.